it's simultaneously beautiful and terrifying. <laughs> The very first time we did this in the lab, everyone just went silent and then sort of there was some nervous laughter and you know, because we were all like, you've gotta be kidding me, like that's what happens? There's just this incredibly energetic jet of aerosol particles that shoots out of the toilet at speeds of one to two meters per second. So if there are pathogens present in those particles, then it's an exposure risk for people who are using the toilet. I hope the scientific community can use this information to make changes to the ventilation or disinfection that reduce the exposure risk. Generally, aerosols are known to transmit both respiratory diseases and intestinal diseases. So all of those pathogens, COVID and norovirus and, and many other pathogens, people know that those can be present in human waste. What is less understood is what is the actual transmission risk of getting a disease from the exposure to those particles. There are quite a few studies that address the issue of COVID and they are inconclusive. I'm not a public health official, but I think minimizing the amount of time you spend in a closed space where there's toilets flushing, trying to mask up while you're in there, I think those two approaches are the most effective strategies at this point. I've seen tweets from all over the world with people saying things like, I'm making my children watch this video so that they will know to close the lid on their toilet. And there's probably a lot of value in doing that.